what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys. We are playing some more Rival Kingdoms, guys. We've got five battle stones to use. That's those little stones up in the top left. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this little upgrade that I've got going on right here. Boom, boom. There we go. So we're going to upgrade that thing. But today, guys, I'm going to go uh, a little more into detail about the game. Like what, what it takes to attack, what it takes to function, all of this kind of stuff. So in the top left, again, you can see where it says full and it has the number five. Those are my battle stones. That is what I'm going to use to attack, all right? So we're going to go ahead, jump into this. We're going to click on map, um, and we're going to go over here to multiplayer, and we're going to go ahead and battle. Now, you don't get to choose. You don't get to skip. You don't get to do any of that kind of stuff. But before you attack, you do get to train your troops up for free. Uh, so we're jumping into a completely new win streak right here. Um, so we are going up against Pythias. So you can see over in the bottom left, guys, you can go change your troops. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and throw in um, a mauler. And we're gonna throw in a couple of these guys right here, or some of the couple of those girls, and then this guy right. Oh no, we want no. Get rid of them. We want healers. So we're gonna throw in three paladins as well. Um, and then we've got our dragon right down here, as you can see. And then we can go change our ancient as well. Now, guys, ancients are probably one of the coolest parts of this game. Um, it's just these epic monster beasts, people that get to come and fight with you, uh, that you get to upgrade. And I've got some that are pretty high level. You can see uh, Kestra and Nyrax are level 20. Nocti is level 21. We're going to go ahead and use him, continue using him. He has three different abilities. You can see uh, his first ability, which only uses a couple of mana. Um, just does a little bit of damage. <clears throat> and then his other ones, his, his main one is ultimate that uses all the mana that you have. Uh, will do a lot of damage, but the second one actually spawns uh, these sweet elementals that come out and fight for you. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of stuff about attacking. So you can see those blue, those little blue things above where it says plus four. That's the mana, guys. So plus 15 from the stronghold, plus four, plus four. You want to try and get that because that's going to allow you to use your ancient's power. So there's two of them over here on the right side. We're going to go ahead and drop off our maulers and then keep on dropping off throw in a couple archers, and then throw these paladins in behind. And you can also drag your dragon out that does a little bit of damage and has a special ability as well. You click it, you drag it, you see the arrow, bring it over. And then as you get mana, you can see it's slowing down. You grab your uh, ability from your ancient on the right, and you bring it over. In the bottom left, guys, you can fast forward the attack. Probably one of the coolest things about the game. We're going to go ahead and bring out some more of these guys. Get up in here. Oh, no, are we going to do this? Come on, take it out. Take out the stronghold. Take it out, boom. So they took out the stronghold. Now we can drag two of these things out, bring them out. They're just going to continue doing work. I was a little bit rushed of an attack, but that's kind of how it works. And then you guys can see you just drag out your abilities from the right side as you get mana from attacking the base. Um, so we should be done here, right? Didn't we attack? Everything's all deployed and whatnot. Yeah, there we go. Epic victory. Woo! And from that, we get rings. We get a couple of cups, and we get some gold as well. Win streak one. Awesome. Um, now you use your rings when it comes to upgrading and things of that sort, but guys, here's the awesome thing. I don't have to wait to train up troops again. I can click back on multiplayer right here, and we can jump right back into it. Um, we're going to face Direwolf now. Uh, he's got 40,000 gold, which isn't bad, and a treasure chest, as you guys can see right there. So, uh, where do we want to attack him? We're probably going to attack from the top up here. We'll go ahead and drop all these guys off, drop off our archers, drop off our paladin. And we'll drop off our dragon up here as well. We'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Hopefully they will work their way inside the wall. Bring out some of these elementals to get up in there. We'll go ahead and use our dragon's ability just a little bit. Not fly it too far so that it can continue dealing damage for us. And again, guys, you just keep on dragging uh, the abilities of your ancient over from the right. You can see right there. I click and drag it over. Boom. Takes out the stronghold. We're going to drag out a couple more of them. We'll just drop off this little tornado ability as well just to do a little bit extra damage. There we go again, bringing it back out with some more of those elementals. Guys, Nocti's elementals are beast mode. They do so much damage. It's ridiculous. So there we go. Epic victory. Another one. We can just keep going. That's what's so awesome about this game. Here's something else that you get. You get treasure chests uh, from winning. You get to open those. Sometimes they have gold. Sometimes they have battle stones. Sometimes they have, yep, see right there. So we got a new battle stone. So now we, we can attack again for free without training anything up. So... That's pretty cool. And then, uh, like I said, you can get different elements and whatnot from those treasure chests as well. Over here on the bottom left, you see this uh, circle with squares in it. You can click on Ancients. You can head in here. You can see all of the Ancients that you have. And you can also uh, come in here and upgrade them. So 
uh, if I could upgrade her more, then uh, I would be able to do enhance, and I, I just have to upgrade my shrine. My shrine isn't a high enough level at this point in time to do that. Um, let's see what else we've got. So we've got uh, Jaw right here. We can't enhance him. We don't have anything for him. Here we go. So uh, when you get those stones from those treasure chests, guys, you come in here. We've got Fourville. We're going to go to enhance. We're going to click on this bad boy right here, and we're going to upgrade right now. And it's going to do all of its magic. Now he is upgraded to level 7. So obviously he isn't as high as the other ones, but I just haven't been getting that much uh, ice premises. So uh, you can also come in here into your inventory. You can see everything that you have. So I've got a lot of nature premise, but I can't really use it. Um, you can check out your battle history in here. You can also, guys, redeem a code, all right? And down below, I'm going to put a code. It is going to be Molt Gaming. You input that in there, and for free, you get... Uh, how much do you get? You get like 10,000 gold, I think, something like that. Um, I'm also going to comment a couple other uh, codes, and the first people to get those, I'll do it throughout the day, the first, the first people to get those uh, will actually get a good amount of stuff. You're going to definitely want to uh, be following that and try and check in. I'll do one at the beginning, but if you don't get one, again, just put in Malt Gaming and you'll get your uh, special little code. But we're going to go ahead and upgrade some stuff because I do have 159,000 gold. We'll go ahead and upgrade this Sky Watcher right here to help us watch the skies. And then we'll upgrade, let's see, 94,000. Can we upgrade this? Yes, we can. We're going to upgrade that as well. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's, that's a little bit of an intro into the game. Nice. What is this? Upgrade complete. Sweet. This is uh, the blacksmith. This is where you actually come in to improve your troops. Uh, I don't have enough gold to improve any of the other ones. I can improve the mana hunters. I don't really use them too much. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be it. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the game, comment down below. It's freaking sweet. You can fast forward your attacks. You get battle stones. You don't have to train up your troops or anything like that. So you can really, really attack a lot. Um, and in the next videos, in the future videos, guys, we'll go ahead and go through some uh, more things in detail when it comes to your kingdom and all that kind of stuff. But if you guys did enjoy, make sure that you all hit that like button. If you are enjoying the game as well, let me know down below. Let's see if we can hit, I don't know, five likes or something like that. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. But I'll see you guys in the next episode, all right? As always, make sure you keep calm and you play on for me. See you guys later. Peace.